reinstalling the seat on a Skidoo GTX 550 fan. So there's two little tabs under the front here on either side. Pick up the back end of the seat, slide it in, come over to the back here. There's two bolts on the there, they're 13s. Secure those two bolts. Now you have a plastic little shroud that goes over the back and the front of it goes over the two bolts, the 13 mil bolts over here. Remember you still have your wire connections for your heated, heated grips and your rear lights. So, and these are going to go in and the back is going to line up with these two. Which is going to take one of these, which is directional. This 10 millimeter bolt will go into the bottom of this, which holds that plastic piece on, and you're going to have to go to the underside, which is kind of hard to see, but it screws up underneath there, which that was a problem I had in trying to remove the seat, not realizing that you have to go underneath. I use a 13 inch socket with an extension to get underneath the sled and make sure you hold that because it is directional. You have to have it in place because there's slots and grooves on either side for your back seat to fit in. So make sure you have them aligned in the right direction. Grooves in the front, grooves in the front. Got four plugs coming off, one for the heated grips and the other one I believe it'd be an accessory for something I have not checked them to see if they're live or not or what they do when you turn on ignition but maybe I'll run some uh, neon lights to those before you put the plastic shroud back over the cover over the back make sure you use, leave out the wire exposed that's needed at this case we're only going to use this one for the heated grips and these three I'm going to believe are accessories because there's nothing to hook them up to. So in the case, you just tuck those underneath the side. My yep, that's how it should look once that piece is back on. Two little uh, tabs there and there's one tab back here. And the only wire I want to leave exposed is the heated grips. Prop the seat back, tilt it up, and make your connections. Three prong in there, three prong in there. Put those two together and hope they got heated grips. The locking tab broke off, so what I did was ran the zip tie in between the little tab that was left. I'm going to tighten it up around, and I do not own the music in the background you may hear. Just like that, I should never come apart. You don't need it super tight, just long enough, it doesn't come apart on you. The two tabs slide into the back underneath here. They lock down those little tabs at the 13 bolts underneath. And then you come in here, this is what releases your rear seat. If you look, that strap releases your rear seat off the tabs off the side, then you pull it out backwards. So there you go, seat installed and repaired, had a lot of damages, and seat installation. Got to make sure your seat snaps right into place, lock, lock, not sure why they have that. Anyway, seat all locked into place, back in, solid and secure. Skidoo GTX 550 fan seat installation. Thank you and enjoy watching. Like and subscribe if you want more content and details.